Hi there, everybody. Meteorologist Dante Jones here in the Dick Goddard Weather Center. Uh, just uh, on this Facebook Live to give you about maybe a 10 minute uh, update on what's happening as far as the storm that's coming our way and what we're looking at and projecting as far as uh, the impacts of the storm before you start uh, watching the 10 o'clock news to get updated on your news and your weather. All right, so here's what we're looking at. Here's the uh, clipper system that's just off to the west. You can see that impacting Illinois and Indiana, then a low pressure just off to the south affecting Kentucky and Southern Ohio and into West Virginia. And that's going to combine to give us the snow showers that we'll see as we head into the overnight hours and through the day tomorrow and somewhat on Saturday as well. So right now we are dry. There might be a few isolated flurries on the east side of the lake there, but right now we are dry and cloudy. Uh, we do have a winter storm warning in red and then a winter weather advisory in blue. Those in the warning in red, those counties, you're going to pick up the bulk of the snow because of what we call lake enhanced snow, not necessarily lake effect. Lake enhanced is from a system that's already going to bring snow. But once that system moves across the lake, the lake enhances the snow that's already going to be falling. Lake effect is uh, it's relatively dry, but the winds coming across the lake creates the snow. That's what's going to happen when this system pulls out of here on Friday night. But then the system gets out, but because the winds are coming in from the north and northwest, then that's going to create the lake effect. And that'll give us a few additional inches Friday night into Saturday. So what I've what you'll see here in the next few minutes is once the system is out of here completely, including the lake effect snow ending Saturday evening, those are the totals that you'll see as far as the snow total. So um, you'll so we keep that in perspective. All right. So here's what's happening tonight so that you know that the snow is going to start overnight tonight. I'll just back this up just a little bit. Uh, that's the morning rush right there. But say about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, that's when we start seeing the snow showers come through. And so here is the morning rush, 7, 8 o'clock. So there's snow falling by 7, 8 o'clock. And on top of that, not only is snow falling, snow has already accumulated about one, two, three inches or so. Here's the next graphic that will show you that. That's just for tomorrow morning, eight o'clock tomorrow morning there you see. So one, two, three inches has already accumulated. So that means it's gonna be a slick commute for you tomorrow morning. So leave yourself a few extra minutes so that you're not the one that's speeding 70 miles an hour because you're running late for work. Uh, and so leave yourself a few extra minutes there so that you can, in case traffic is slow, roads are slippery, an accident, what have you. So it's going to be one of those commutes where you just want to take it easy because of what we saw Tuesday. Uh, there was a, there were a slew of accidents on Tuesday morning for the morning commute. The Ohio Department of Transportation, which was news to me, by the way, the Ohio Department of Transportation said that they typically see more accidents with these one, two, three inch snows during the during the morning and evening rushes as opposed to the big five, six, seven, eight, nine inches of snow. So so be careful out there in the morning. So the big gist of the storm is travel is going to be difficult at times. You got some gusting winds at times throughout the afternoon and evening tomorrow. So some blowing snow. Uh, and then once we transition into the lake effect Friday night into Saturday, we pull in this really cold air. So we then get sub zero wind chills again uh, for the weekend, Saturday morning and Sunday morning. All right, so temperatures today, yeah, they were cold. Overnight, last night wasn't too terrible. It was about where we should be. Uh, but today, we only made it to 26. Good news today is the winds have backed off tremendously, thankfully. So not much of a huge wind chill. Even right now, look at that. Not much of a huge wind chill because the winds are calm to light. And that's what it'll be tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, yes, there'll be snow on the ground. But you'll notice that, okay, this cold is bearable. It's, it's not bad. And so going through the overnight, the the big thing is there's enough cold air that everything's falling as snow. It's not like these other storms where there was some rain and a rain snow mix and what have you. Temperature's cold, ground is cold, so everything's falling as snow. So there's two o'clock in the morning, the future cast. We have snow showers that are coming in, falling, you're sleeping. It's still falling. There's seven thirty in the morning where you're brushing off the car, headed to work and what have you. So it's a messy commute in the morning. And then it starts to taper for the evening commute. Now, what I will do is I'll back up just a bit to show you something here. If you look, say, here towards Oberlin 
over towards Erie County and just to the south and, and Huron County around New London and Mansfield, you'll see that darker blue right there. It's those darker blues because those are coming in off the lake and that's a northerly flow that's piling up those counties of seeing more of the snow. You see that darker blue color right there? Now it's stretching anywhere from Chardon up into Lake County, down through Cleveland and Oberlin and New London. So those, that's the reason why those counties are in the winter storm warning and we'll see the higher snowfall amounts because that is coming in off the lake. Those darker blues there is the heavier snowfall rate. So you're gonna pick up the bulk of the snowfall. And then further south you head, it tapers off. And so here is lunchtime. It's starting to break up a bit, but you're still seeing tons of scattered snow showers everywhere. The evening rush, it becomes more scattered, but there are still folks who are, the winds are gusting uh, 25 miles an hour tomorrow. Uh, you still got snow falling, snow that's already falling, that's on the roadways and the ground, so you're still looking at snow showers. Now the system starts to depart, and then notice here is uh, Friday night, one in the morning, uh, you start to see those lake effect streamers now come in around Ashtabula, Warren, Youngstown, uh, Cleveland. You're starting to see that take shape, and those continue through Saturday. Look at that. We're still looking at the snow belt, still looking at places like uh, Lorraine County because those winds are coming in off the lake out of the northwest. So that's where we're starting to see those snow showers and snow bands form. There's Saturday mid-morning. Look at that band that's forming in Lorain County, north of Oberlin, Cleveland, northern uh, Summit County. So this is what I'm saying, that we start to rack up inches of snow right here. There's Saturday afternoon. We're seeing more scattered variety now of snow down in Medina, over towards Bucyrus, Mansfield, before it starts to taper off as we get into Saturday evening. And then Sunday, we might, we might see a lingering lake effect flurry early in the morning, but we're starting to break the clouds up. So after all of that, when it's said and done, this is what we see. Because of those lake effect bands that are coming in Friday night and through Saturday, because of that heavier snowfall rate that's gonna come in off the lake uh, throughout the day on Friday, Places like Lorain County over in the Cuyahoga County, Northern Medina, Northern Summit, over in the uh, uh, Geauga County, uh, over into Lake County. That sweet spot right there is where you get up to 9, 10, uh, 11, 12 plus inches. Now, that's not to say that everyone exactly in there is going to see a foot. I know everyone looks at the foot and say, oh, we're getting a foot of snow. I don't believe we're getting the it's it's a forecast just like any just like any other rain forecast or temperature forecast you know sometimes we forecast it's going to be 80 degrees today and maybe there's a little bit more cloud cover and so we only make it to 77 and so same thing with if these lake effect bands for example or some of these heavier bands kind of shift here or there a few miles and that's going to affect those totals so let's say cleveland for example you're in the 10 to 12 plus so if something happens with one of these snow bands on Saturday uh, where it sets up a little further east and not over Cleveland, uh, then that may cut down to maybe Cleveland only gets eight or nine inches. Are you really going to complain that I only got eight or nine inches as opposed to the foot that I thought? It's really close to the range. So give it a couple of inches here or there. Same thing over, let's say, into Sandusky. We got a six to nine inch range. So if you get six inches, Remember, we said six to nine inches. I know people like to look at the nine inches like, oh, I only got five or six inches. So the nine inches they were calling for, no, we're calling from six to nine. And then, of course, again, the variations, depending on where the snow is falling and where the snow is heaviest. But this is the general gist. This is the general gist of what happens is up by the lake, you're going to get those heavier amounts of snow. So anywhere from about six inches to a foot plus. But again, right up there close to the lake and skewed eastward, uh, that's where we see those higher, higher totals of 9, 10, 11, 12 inches. And then the further away from the lake you get, uh, say Akron, Worcester, Ashland, Mansfield, you get about 4 to 6 inches. Again, depending on where some of these lake effect bands, it may swoop down there and get a little bit more moisture and dump maybe... Uh, seven inches in Worcester as opposed to the four to six or maybe eight inches in Worcester as opposed to the four to six or it could dump uh, three inches as opposed so that's just how that goes you just look at this as the general gist of what happens uh, down in the uh, New Philly Carrollton Millersburg 
we're talking more two to four inches there as opposed to those higher amounts. So that's the general gist of what happened when it's all said and done uh, Saturday evening. So we'll get the big storm system that comes on Friday. And then those especially north uh, by the lake, we start to get the lake effect that'll come in Friday night and through the day on Saturday. That'll add about two, three more inches or so onto that. And then we turn our attention to the wind chills, unfortunately. Let me back this up just a bit. Uh, we get really cold and the wind and the temperatures uh, not only drop, but it becomes breezy, not gusty, not the 40, 50 mile an hour gust that we were seeing earlier, but breezy. So when it's like 10 degrees and there's a stiff 20, 25 mile an hour breeze, you get this Saturday morning, five to 10 to 15 degrees below zero for the wind chill. Even for Saturday afternoon, it doesn't get a whole lot better, at least somewhat, but we're still looking at single digit wind chills for Saturday afternoon. And then for Sunday uh, morning, below zero wind chills again, there we go, here about uh, seven in the morning, uh, two, three, below zero. And then by Sunday afternoon, we start to warm up a smidge where we're at least we're in the teens as far as the real feel. But the good news is, and I'll skip along here to the eight day, the good news is into next week, we warm up. Temperatures in the 30s on Monday, partly cloudy skies, or at least we see some sunshine to start to help melting some of the snow. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we get back into the 40s, but Tuesday we get another system comes in. We'll look at Monday night into Tuesday, it's 31 degrees. So we're gonna start that off as a snow wintry mix. Then it'll probably be a messy morning commute Tuesday morning, just a heads up, keep that in the back of your mind. And then Tuesday afternoon, it transitions to all rain because we're at 40 degrees. And then on Thursday, we get another chance of some showers. Wednesday, possibly as well. Models kind of having a little disagreement on Wednesday, so I kept a 20% chance in there. But the moral of the story is good news, we warm up. Bad news is we warm up, so we start melting the snow, and we start adding rain on top of the snow. So some flooding events may take place as we get into next week. So we're going to have to watch next week uh, for that. So the weather never quits. You know what else never quits? Us at Fox 8, the news and weather and sports, which is coming up in about 14 minutes. So I will see you then. That was just a quick update. Play it back as many times as you want to. If I went through something a little too fast, remember it's Facebook Live. It lives on Facebook. Go back there, constantly rewind, go back for it, what have you, whatever you need to know. Also, uh, we got updates over at the website at uh, fox8.com. We got photos on there of the graphics that we go through, as well as our social media pages, uh, the, um, the Fox 8 Facebook page, as well as the Fox 8 weather Facebook page, has the snowfall totals on there too. Again, look at that as the general gist, and just know that depending on the trajectory of some of these bands and some of these squalls, uh, that may skew the numbers a little bit by a few inches here or there, but that's the general gist of the inches and who gets what as far as where the higher amounts will be uh, going forward, okay? All right, I will see everybody in a few minutes on the TV, all right? Have a great night, everybody.